So let's go back to 2008. Do you remember what happened on Wall Street after wild speculations, unregulated bundlings of bundles of bundles, uh, and ultimately the whole market crash? And I wonder what's in place now that would prevent another form of blackmail happening again, only on a much even more ominous and grandiose scale. What's in place now that would prevent that from happening again in a way that could be much more devastating and much worse than the bailouts that the taxpayers ended up having to pony over to save the fat cats? It just seems to me that that's just a license to be able to do what you want to do in illegal ways or in ways that are super harmful for for society and if you think about the concentrations of wealth over the recent trump tax cuts to the extremely wealthy and how that increased and intensified their leverage on an economy the global economy that affects us sure there are more jobs perhaps under their measure of what jobs mean but in the end, people still need two or three jobs just to make ends meet. So I'm not sure that that's really helping or that's a real healthy signifier or measure. Again, what's preventing that from happening over and over? And I think that that's one of the reasons why GCAS's creation of an alternative economy is super important. An economy that's based on collaboration rather than competition. An economy that's based on knowledge exchange and developing better human capacities. Now we'll